Okay, well, I have a um, interesting email here. Okay, uh, let, me, let me read the first part of it. It illustrates what we're going to be talking about today rather clearly. I think she says, "Dear Gary, I found your teachings many, many years ago and applied EFT with good results. All right. However, there is something, not sure what, that despite 16 years of therapy." and one year of EFT with a trauma-focused therapist that will not shift. In fact, she suggested I go on antidepressants, but if EFT works, why would this be a suggestion? Yeah. Well, there's a... Uh, let's talk about that, okay? And there's a, there's a way out of that uh, but I got to give you a little background here first. When I first brought EFT out to the public, 1995, I had no idea that it would spread around the world, be in the hands of millions of people, and and so on. 23 languages and all of that. So when I put it out, I didn't put out any standards. I didn't put out any royalties. I didn't put out any legal fences. I didn't put out any requirements of any kind so people i just said here do what you want to do with it you know i thought maybe 30 people or something would like it <laughs> but it spread all over partly because it worked and partly because there were no restrictions on it but so the good news is it spread the not so good news it did not spread accurately and that's a mistake of mine i i i couldn't foresee it but if i had i would have I would have done this. So the result of that is you take a, an idea like EFT and you give it to millions of people with all of whom have different belief systems and it will go in <laughs> a belief system and come out a little differently in each of the millions of cases. All right. That's human nature. It's just what happens. Now, when I eventually understood this, I started teaching it in more 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 uh, exacting terms all right but uh, not everybody just followed along with it. in fact very few actually did they looked at it said oh this is great and they'll do it their own way and plug it in and so on so one of the things that happens uh with therapists there's a lot of it i'm not criticizing anybody here it's, it's just there's a lot of enthusiasm goes on and in the enthusiasm there's a few things get you know they fall off the table but one of the things that that um, that goes that goes on with with all this enthusiasm is that is that people say, "Oh, well, here's the way to do it. Here's the way to do it. Here's the way to do it," and they start doing what we call detective work. That's my term. They may or may not use it, but that's what they do. They're trying to find, well, what's behind all of that? What's the real cause of a very important term here we've got to find the cause and most people that use eft yeah you know, they aim it at symptoms and you start aiming it at symptoms rather than cause uh, you're going to leave a lot a lot on the table okay <laughs> it's not going to work as well as it might if you look for cause but now so you look for detective work and you start asking questions well how, you know, when did this first start and how old were you then? And were there emotional issues there at that time? Those can give you clues. They give you clues. But eventually I brought in the unseen therapist rather than what you may know as tapping on the phys physical, you know, fingertip tapping on the meridians. That The meridian tapping is a mechanical way to bring peace to the system. The unseen therapist reaches within you and brings out the healing powers that you have within you that you probably recognize are there, but just don't know how to access them. Well, we have ways to do that. There are essential links below this video, by the way, that uh, will point you in this direction, uh, how to do that. And, you know, some a free ebook and some advanced training and a newsletter and things like that. But let me get to the main point here. Some people try to do detective work, and they, they get pretty good at it, okay? 
but they're not they don't always you know hit the hit the bullseye often and often enough to be useful sometimes not and when something doesn't shift chances are they haven't really found the cause the cause could be emotional issues that our our friend who who wrote the email isn't even aware of or it could be something that she really doesn't want to she doesn't want to look at it's maybe it's a guilt issue or it's a fear issue she doesn't uh, you know uh doesn't want to go for and so it tends not to get looked at addressed and so on oh we'll do that one later uh yeah okay so when that happens which is with some frequency we don't get to cause and this is a good example this particular email is a good example of that we're not getting to it doesn't shift remember she said she had a lot of good results with it well that was stuff that she, you know she was willing to look at and okay but this one didn't shift right. so with the unseen therapist which i brought out in 2014 uh, there are a number of things that that bring more power to the process i mean we're, we're speaking with you know the the Spiritual love is the ultimate healing source uh, beyond anything you know man can make, but we have to be able to access it. And we call that the unseen therapist for non-denominational purposes. You might want to call it God, Holy Spirit, Buddha, Allah, Jesus, uh, lots of different names. It's the essence, the ultimate essence of this spiritual love behind behind most religions and spiritual practices. So we have a, uh, in our advanced training at least, and I'm gonna give you a little heads up on this little clue here. Uh, we have a lesson, advanced lesson number 10, which basically tells you how to ask the unseen therapist what's going on. You don't have to sit there and play detective on your own. You can ask the unseen therapist. Now, it takes a little skill, a little practice, a little trial and error. But once you do that, oh, doors open. Oh, re oh, I see it now kind of. Oh, yes. Yeah, I, I got it. You know, you're being told to go here or to go there. This is the cause. And, you know, we, then we give you tools to deal with that cause now i'm not saying that cause is just immediately taken care of in moments and sometimes yes okay but it may take some more work etc but it's a it's a new skill and a and a big part of that is being able to ask unseen therapists you know now her answer it's a she by the way <laughs> um her her answer isn't the same for in the same form for everyone for some people you you just may get a, an intuition you may get an image of something that happened long ago that you need to address you may get it may not even happen right at the moment it may happen tomorrow you 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 may be reading a headline someplace in a book or magazine and, it stands right out of you somebody says something to you oh that's it you know it has to wait until you're ready but all of that is a skill and when it happens, you've opened a big, wide door. And things that didn't shift before, ah, now, now they can start shifting. And freedom starts coming as a result of that. And freedom is what we're after. EFT, after all, stands for emotional freedom techniques. Anyway, hope that's helpful. We'll see you next time.